The Obama administration is kicking off a new program aimed at helping up to 9 million borrowers stay in their homes. It may make it easier for you to refinance your mortgage or modify your loan so you can make lower monthly payments. Details were released earlier today, and our CNN personal finance editor, Jerry Willis, is joining us now with more. A lot of people are really happy about this, uh, but explain what's going on, Jerry. Well, Wolf, after weeks of waiting, the Treasury Department finally unveiled details of its $75 billion plan for solving the foreclosure crisis, revealing a complicated program that its authors hope can ease the problem. Dotting the I's and crossing the T's, that is what government officials were doing today with a sweeping $75 billion plan to stem the foreclosure crisis. Clearly what we want to do is not only jumpstart the economy, which will help homeowners also, but get homeowners to stay in their houses to the extent that's possible and it's going to take some time to work our way out of this problem. The plan, dubbed Making Housing Work, helps two groups of homeowners. The first are people who are underwater in their mortgage. That is, they owe more than their home is worth, but are current in their payments. Their mortgages will be refinanced into a new loan. Their principal will not be reduced, but their payments will be lowered, or they will be able to avoid painful rate resets. The other program sets out to help homeowners who have lost a job or are behind on their payments and at risk of foreclosure. Those borrowers will be eligible for loan modifications in which the lender lowers the interest rate or principal owed. This will cut the monthly mortgage payment and more importantly help avoid foreclosure. Both programs require that candidates live in their homes and that mortgages be less than $730,000. U.S. homeowners are hoping it does more than just bail out potential foreclosure candidates. They would like to see home prices stabilized. This is the first uh, program where there's some meat has been put on this bone, that there's a chance that homeowners can actually be assisted with a combination of, of their giving a little, uh, the bank gives it a little, the manager of the asset, the uh, services give a little, the government gives a little, with the hope that will help literally millions of families stay in their homes. So, Wolf, big hopes for that program and, of course, the hope that it'll help stabilize the whole economy. But some fresh details as well. We just got off the phone with folks from the Treasury Department just tonight asking more questions about this plan, asking how do we know it's really going to work? And they told us Wells Fargo, Chase, Bank of America, these banks are already signed on to this program. Something different than what happened with some of the programs of the past. Hopes, of course, are high. Wolf? And Jerry's going to have a lot more on, on this and a lot of other useful information on her own show, Saturday mornings, 9.30 a.m., Your Bottom Line. Good show. You should watch it. Jerry, thanks very much. A lot of American homeowners need help. A report out today shows 20% of people with mortgages, 20% owe more than uh, their home is worth. Uh, that's more than 8 million U.S. mortgages. More than 2 million homeowners are within 5% of that negative territory. California led in the number of these so-called underwater borrowers, followed by Florida, Texas, Michigan, and Ohio. Those five states had more than half the nation's so-called negative equity mortgages. Uh, California, by the way, has fared uh, the worst. Homeowners there lost more than a trillion dollars in housing value last year alone. That's roughly half of the national decline. Wow. A successful stockbroker fired by Citigroup for falsifying her experience on her application. GR